be live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. With two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce, our reporter. Allie, take it away. Hey, Brian. Well, last season, Fred Van Vliet signed the biggest contract in NBA history for an undrafted free agent. And he went on to set more records. His 54-point game, the most ever by an undrafted player, and the most ever by a Raptors player. His mantra has been, bet on yourself. And guys, it sure is paying off. That it is, Allie. I like that. And Grant, these teams both stacked in the front court. Stacked indeed, B.A. The versatility demanded in today's game revolutionizing those positions. Now, it's not enough to just control the paint. You've got to do more. So the Raptors starting five. Van Vliet and Trent Jr. at the guard spots. Barnes is down low with Siakam. And it's Ananobi in at the small forward. And for Minnesota, Carl Anthony Towns is out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Here we go. Then it's D'Angelo Russell. Then it's Patrick Beverly. And it's Edwards in at the three. Outside Barnes. The kick out to Van Vliet. Second chance effort. And it's good on the lay-in. Well, if you think about Fred Van Vliet's handle and his ability to operate at different speeds, you understand how effective he can be on the drive. Now here's Beverly. Back to Russell. Over Van Vliet. Siakam pulls down the board. Pass to Van Vliet. with the block. Russell with the ball. Edwards, a pass to Towns. He can't get it to go. And it's the Raptors taking it the other way. It's Barnes on the wing. And out of bounds. Minnesota will have it. Here's Minnesota now. Pass to Vanderbilt. To the wing, right side. Here's Russell. And it's Toronto with a rebound. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. Here's Van Vliet. Vanderbilt pulls it in. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. Boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. Now Towns. Rebound by Van Vliet. The Raptors have gone one of four to start. Well, you have to feel for Carl Anthony Towns these last few years. Obviously, losing close family members during the pandemic. One of the toughest personal stretches for anyone. Now here's Edwards. Pass to Russell. And he drains the turnaround, Jay. It's all knotted up. To me, you've got to stay attached to D'Angelo Russell, especially when he's in those in-between areas. And Towns, throughout all the turmoil, Duras, he's been a model leader. You know what I love about Carl Anthony Towns is the grace with which he has handled some incredibly difficult challenges. He has shown unbelievable strength throughout his tenure in the NBA.
your Timberwolves dancers! First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Van Vliet outside. Russell with the rebound. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Here's Vanderbilt, back to Russell. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. Boy, a really tough quarter for this guy, just struggling to make shots right now. Now here's Beverly. Pass to Russell. Now here's Towns. He's guarded by Barnes. To the middle. Stolen by Siakam. They push it up for all three. And an Obi for three. Hits the three-pointer. Don't give OG and Anobi too much space, boy. He will rise and fire in the catch-and-shoot game. Russell to pass to Towns. First quarter of play, and just over three and a half minutes in. Just five on the clock. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. Stolen by Siakam. Pass to Barnes. Here's Ananobi. Siakam with a screen on Russell. Puts one up from 19. That one a little long. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Towns. Barnes with the rebound. Barnes has got his fourth rebound in this one. Ananobi passes to Barnes. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Toronto, Scotty Barnes. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good from Barnes. And he can't hit the second. And when you watch Towns, one thing is clear. He's one of the best in the league. He gives you so much when he's on the floor. Beverly against Trent. Right side, Russell. That shot, no good. Now Toronto takes it the other way. Pass to Ananobi. Fires the three. Gets the three to fall. Ananobi's got six. And you know Grant with Towns, he's arguably one of the top dozen big men in the league. And you forget how young he is, B.A. I mean, a few years from now, he might be top five. He has all the tools necessary to be a superstar. Now here's Towns. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Russell, that's good. Well, he's getting better at absorbing contact. Finishes like this prove Russell is a tough, dynamic competitor. And lead on the wing. Driving to the basket. He can't hit that one. Good work defensively by Russell. Boy, he cannot get anything to fall, but the teammates, boy, have they delivered. And an 
Ananobi against Edwards. Shoots over Ananobi. Edwards can't hit. Well, they get it to the high percentage area, and then it all goes wrong from there. To the paint. And there's Siakam. That one's good. On the assist from Ananobi. What you see is continued improvement in his ability to create for others. Great to see OG Ananobi make the open read. Now here's Towns. Up and in on the layup. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. And lead on the wing. Back to Trent. Pass to Ananobi. Here's Barnes. Can't get it to fall. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. Here's Vanderbilt. He's guarded by Barnes. And here's Russell. Back to Edwards. Towns, a screen on Ananobi. The ball's knocked loose. Van Vliet against Russell. Back to Van Vliet. Siakam with a screen on Russell. Pass to Trent. And here's Edwards outside. Rebound by the Raptors. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Beverly with it, guarded by Trent. The offensive rebound. And Beverly gets it to go. Well, that's just Patrick Beverly, despite the lack of size, competing on the glass and getting the putback. And lead on the wing. That one's good. Two for eight now. Just two for eight shooting early on. Maybe that hoop will help build some momentum. Fans, the loudest section gets free t-shirts. Let's see who's the loudest. Fans, your Super Wolves dancer. Checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. McDaniels comes in for Vanderbilt. Okogie's checked in for Edwards. And Beasley has subbed in for Beverly. So Toronto going with almost an entire new group here. Birch, he's checked in for Pascal Siakam. Achua comes in for Barnes. Mikhailuk's checked in for Trent. And it's Flynn in for Fred Van Vliet. Minnesota's gone 0 for 2 from outside. Here's Mikhailuk. Pass to Flynn. Achua with it. Back to Flynn. Here's Mikhailuk. He's guarded by Beasley. Just four to shoot. Takes it inside. The Raptors need to get off a shot. Achua can't hit. The Timberwolves trail. Reed sets a screen. Now here's Beasley. Defense is right there. Akogi on the wing. Oh. 
Second shot opportunity, and the layup is up and in. Well, Joshua Kogi is nothing if not opportunistic. You love creating the second chance opportunity there. Pass to Mikhailuk. Here's Flynn, guarded by Russell. Birch with a screen on Russell. Flynn on the attack. Oh, and Reed with a block. Beasley outside. Here's McDaniels. Here's Reed. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Boy, against so little defensive pressure, you have to convert that. To the left side wing. Shoots from 12. Achua can't hit. Timberwolves shooting 28% in this first quarter. Inside. And Reed with a basket on the assist by Beasley. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Here's Flynn, guarded by Russell. Pass to Mikhailuk. Birch with a screen on Beasley. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Here's Mikhailuk. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And out of bounds, Minnesota will have it. Minnesota has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Russell with the ball. He's picked up by Birch. Here's McDaniels. Here's Reed. And that misses. That would have put him up. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Pass to Achua. Here's Mikhailuk. He's guarded by Beasley. He takes it in. Rebound Minnesota. And we've got 118 left in the first quarter here. McDaniels. Achua with a rebound. Toronto's gone two of three from three-point land so far. Here's Flynn, guarded by Russell. Back to Ananobi. Pass to Flynn. Over Russell. Misses off the right iron. You'd like to see more effective ball movement there. Well, there's no doubt there were better options on the floor, but it certainly seemed like he had his mind made up. Now here's Russell. Achua with some nice D. Birch with a screen on Russell. Flynn on the attack. Pass to Birch. Now Achua. Oh, got a piece of it. Here's Mikhailuk. Five to shoot. Shoots over Beasley. And again, no good by Toronto. Here's McDaniels. He's guarded by Birch. Now Russell. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And a closely contested grit and grind first quarter comes to a close. It's the Raptors. They're up by one. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. After one quarter of play. You know, you take a look at the Raptors' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Oh, what I love was that first quarter was all about leaking out and capitalizing in transition. And why wouldn't they? You see their effectiveness in the open floor. Very difficult to slow down. And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting a low 26% from the field. So for Toronto right now, Van Fleet and Trent Jr. at the guard spots. Pascal Siakam out there with Thaddeus Young. And it's Barnes in at the three, the small forward. Now here's Beasley. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. And a fast break now for the Raptors. Trent from long range. No luck on that one. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. 
Beasley, the pass to Beverly. Towns with the ball. Goes back up. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. The Raptors with a lead. Siakam with it. Count that one. All right, we're putting you on the spot here, Doris. Who do you think is the best head coach in the NBA? Boy, you're trying to get me into trouble, <laughs> B.A. I think most people are going to answer sort of old school pop because of the number of championships. I'm going to take it in a different direction and say one of the guys that, that captivates me, whether he's loaded with stars or whether he's trying to grind it out, that would be Eric Spolstra. He's got the ability to X and O with the best of them, and I think he manages people as well as anyone I've seen. Now here's Trent. Young inside. He's guarded by Beasley. Kept alive. Uneasy two that on the layup. Young. And the Raptors lead by five. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Raptors. They've come out in full attack mode defensively. Applying pressure and stealing it away repeatedly. And they've taken advantage of the turnovers they've caused, getting a lot of their offense straight off their defense. Here's Prince. The Raptors making their last shot. Clock at six. Kicked by Prince. His first shot attempt. Rebound by the Raptors. Barnes has got five rebounds tonight. Then lead against Beverly. Young with a screen on Beverly. Now here's Van Vliet. The D's right on him. Rebound, Minnesota. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Pass to Prince. Back to Beasley. Over Trent. The Timberwolves again can't hit for Toronto. They've gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. To the inside. Young can't hit. For Minnesota, they've gone 0 for 4 in the second quarter. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Edwards can't hit. And for the Raptors, they're shooting 27% in today's game. Not good. Down low. Here's Trent. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Well, brought up in an unselfish system, Pascal Siakam takes great pride keeping his teammates involved. Boy, what a pick back in 2016. Late first round, Pascal Siakam goes on to win the most improved player three years after he was drafted. Fans, your Timberwolves Dexter! Three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. 
Beverly against Van Vliet. Trying to get back on track. Toronto grabs the miss. Van Vliet's got four rebounds in the game. Trent, the pass to Siakam. Towns with a rebound. Towns has got a rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Beverly. And here's Edwards, guarded by Van Vliet. Van Vliet against Edwards. And there it is for him. And that strength and concentration from Anthony Edwards. Yes, there's contact. Doesn't bother him. Van Vliet against Beverly. Van Vliet outside. It's deflected. Here's Prince. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. It's hard to make your way in today's NBA without being a tremendous three-point shooter. Torian Prince doing work from beyond the arc. Pass to Van Vliet. Young with a screen on Beverly. Looking to get back on track. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. It's on Patrick first Beverly. Well, Thaddeus Young being aggressive. You want him to put it on the Thaddeus defense and Young. force the issue. That's nice. Line for two. Shooting two. Free throw, no good. And he can't make the second free throw either. Missed them both. Now, Thaddeus Young is capable of playing multiple positions. He is an efficient blue guy who always seems to play to his strengths. Now, here's Edwards. To the paint. It's Edwards on the wing. Six on the shot clock. Vanderbilt with a screen. Edwards with it. Siakam covering. Edwards can't hit. The Raptors have gotten only three of nine attempts to fall in the second. Trent against Beverly. Pass to Van Vliet. And the shot falls short that time. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Well, credit him for going for it, not settling, saying, I'm going to attack. Now here's Barnes. With the fadeaway. Count it. And that shot gets him in the books. He's one for three. Now this guy plays with such confidence and ability to score in a variety of ways. Nice. Beverly against Van Vliet. Back to Vanderbilt. It's rebounded by Pascal Siakam. Siakam's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Trent. Let's it fly. Edwards pulls it in. The Timberwolves trail. Beverly outside. Here's Prince. Here's Towns. The bank shot, no good. Toronto shooting a low 28% so far on this one. Outside Young. Now here's Barnes. Trent outside. Pass to Van Vliet. Screen by Young. From deep three-point range. Minnesota with a rebound. Vanderbilt's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Beverly. Now 
Towns. And he's back in business as the jumper finally drops for him. It's a tie ball game. In the modern NBA, the three-level score is so hard to deal with. Carl Anthony Towns in the mid-range. That's money. The loudest and craziest fan. Get a free t-shirt. Let's see it, fans. Bang! Your Timberwolves dancer. Checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. McDaniels comes in for Vanderbilt. Okogie's checked in for Prince. And Russell is subbed in for Anthony Edwards. Timberwolves on D. Achua passes to Birch. Back to Achua. Achua with the dunk. His hang time on the rim puts a sweet cherry on top, B.A. It's a close game, and those displays of explosiveness can jumpstart a team. Now here's Beverly. Into the lane. And that one's good. Hey, Beverly's got his second basket of the game. Well, Patrick Beverly making use of the floater game. So important in today's NBA, particularly at his size. Here's Mikhailuk. And the three off target. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. <laughs> and D'Angelo Russell, looking at his career, he's slowly becoming a more efficient player, learning his strengths and his limitations. Pass to Ananobi. Back to Flynn. Six to shoot. With the 10-footer, sinks that one after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. And for Russell, he's still a volume scorer. But now I think he's better at picking his spots. And you can live with his percentages. I mean, he's improved his shot from the outside. It seems like he's always looking to refine his game. Here's McDaniels. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. And the officials call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. Well, at least the D was going for it, but he got to the ball just a moment late. Toronto has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. And the foul on Patrick Beverly. That's foul number two for him. That's two fouls in as many quarters. He may have to adjust his approach now. Outside Ananobi, back to Flynn. To the wing on the left. Shot clock at six. Achua with a screen. Fires, top of the key. Well, what a stop by Patrick Beverly. One of the most aggressive, intense defenders in the league, regardless of size. And the basket is good. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. 
Here's Flynn, guarded by Russell. Here's Mikhailuk. And it's all from three-point range. Minnesota with the ball. They're on a 15-6 run. Beverly outside. Pass to Okogi. Reed sets a screen. Here's McDaniels. That one is off. So the Raptors will take it the other way. Out left to the wing. Up minute 31 left in the second quarter. Inside. Oh, deflected. Here's Okogi. That shot's good. Russell making the play. And it's a four-point Timberwolves lead. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for Minnesota. Their frenetic defense has been impressive. Putting ball handlers on the defensive and turning them over as well. They also came out of the locker room ready to run. Their transition game has been in full effect. And so it's Minnesota with it. After the basket by Toronto. Pass to Reed. Left side, Russell. Reed sets a screen. The shot by Russell, no good. And for Toronto, they're shooting just 37% from the field in the second quarter. Here's Flynn. Reed defending. Here's the three. The shot by Mikhailuk, no good. Boy, at some point, you've got to realize there might be a better option standing next to you. This guy has not made one basket in this period. Yeah, man, <laughs> the defender really went after him. First team foul. First team foul. At the line for your Timberwolves, Patrick Beverly. Two shots. Two shots. Last on the first. And he knocks down the first one. And we know Patrick Beverly is one of those guys you love having him on your team. But if you're an opponent, you absolutely despise this guy's toughness and the way he embraces the defensive end of the floor. Patrick Beverly has dug it out of the dirt and created a great career. Beasley's checked in for McDaniels. So he gets them both. Toronto trailing. Here's Flynn. Pass to Boucher. Over Reed. Boucher, no good. One second left. That shot missing. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Timberwolves ahead. Up four. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm here with Nick Nurse. And, Coach, I saw you imploring your team to pick it up. Where do you need to be better in the second half? Well, we're not very good uh, offensively right now. I think we're taking some okay shots, but we got to be a little bit more patient and keep moving it around a little bit. Need multiple paint touches rather than just one. So we just got to do a little bit better job of getting off it and relocating a little bit. Patience is a virtue. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Boy, you gotta like what Patrick Beverly has done in this game. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him. And then, of course, executing. One of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end, and boy, this young guy has done just that. 
And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. We've got Anthony Edwards, Patrick Beverly out there with D'Angelo Russell. Then there's Jared Vanderbilt, and it's Towns in at the center position, filling out the middle. So that's the Timberwolves five. Wow, he doesn't make those kind of plays too often. Sweet move inside. And lead on the wing, looking to get it going. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That one on Russell. Well, strength and savvy make Fred Van Vliet a tough guy to deal with inside. Gets the contact. Boy, when you watch Fred Van Vliet, now an NBA champion, incredible to think that he went undrafted back in 2016. And that was after what was a tremendous college career. First free throw is good. And just look what he did in college. Van Vliet often saved his best play for the biggest games, Doris. Yeah, he did. And that translated to the NBA because he played a key role in the Raptors championship run. He has that clutch gene. He is fearless. And guys, I'm just going to call it. Fred Van Vliet is a winner. Both free throws, good from Van Vliet. Hard to think of a player who's transformed more than Van Vliet. Undrafted, spent some time in the G League. Now he's a primary catalyst for his team. Now here's Beverly. Give him eight. Pass to Edwards. Russell against Van Vliet. Shot clock at five. Russell to pass to Edwards. Shoots over Ananobi. Edwards can't hit. A true all-around talent. Van Vliet gives you the big things and all the little things as well, Grant. Well, you talk about the points, the assists, but look at the rebounding and the steals and the charges he takes. I mean, he's a glue guy and a star. Now here's Siakam. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Towns has got eight rebounds in the game. Here's Edwards. Shoots over Ananobi. And that one's long. The Raptors shooting a rough 29% from the field here. Van Vliet, the pass to Trent. Back to Van Vliet. Blocked! Well, that's the energy and effort that D'Angelo Russell brings on the defensive end. This guy has got the ability to be a factor there. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. So it's Toronto now. Six to shoot. And here's Van Vliet. He has six. Well, you want to see some more ferocity on the defensive end from D'Angelo Russell. Right there, he proves what a force he can be. Pass to Towns. Over Barnes. No good off the back of the rim. For Toronto, they've gone 0 for 3 to start the second half. And an OB on the take. Another shot. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. You've got to have determination to get to the glass. Pascal Siakam mixing it up and getting some boards. One shot. dominating at a mid-major university. Some scouts question Siakam's level of competition during the 2016 draft process, especially since his numbers were so good. Now here's Towns. Outside Edwards. Pass to Beverly. Oh, they need this! It's hauled in by the Raptors. 
Also affecting Siakam's draft stock, huh? He was three or four years older than many of his peers. Well, what's interesting is that player evaluation has become such a science. But sometimes the variables can lead you astray, and you have to go by the eye test. Siakam was in that cohort. Now here's Russell. He's got six. What you love about D'Angelo Russell, he can impact winning with both his scoring and his passing. Now here's Barnes. It's hauled in by Beverly. It's stolen by Trent. Shots blocked. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Beverly. Wow, Patrick Beverly, barely six feet. Send it back, young Patrick. Minnesota on D. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Here's Van Vliet. Yep, that one goes. Van, Vliet. Van Vliet's got eight points. Now you see the wherewithal of Fred Van Vliet. Finds the soft spot in the defense and converts. Beverly against Trent. Towns is screen on Trent. And it's Beverly on the drive. Towns. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. It's Barnes on the wing. From 13, Vanderbilt pulls it in. Vanderbilt's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Beverly shot off. Toronto trailing. Pass to Ananobi. Back to Van Vliet. Siakam the screen. This for the tie! Rebound Minnesota. Edwards got five rebounds tonight. And here's Beverly. There's the drive. It's stolen by Barnes. And now the Raptors on the break. Here's Van Vliet. The Fred Van Vliet is such a crafty basketball player. At that size, you have to be. Nice job drawing the contact there. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Timberwolves? Oh, their defense has been outstanding, closing out on shots and blocking quite a few as well. Well, their transition game has been operating at full speed, too. They've really run the break well. And he drops it first. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. The Timberwolves making a switch here. McDaniels checked in. Both free throws, good from Van Vliet. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, he keeps making them. Pass to Vanderbilt. Edwards with it. Towns is screen on Van Vliet. Russell with the ball. And it's out of Nobi picking him up. Here's Vanderbilt. Clock at six. Right side Edwards. No good there. See Occam with the defensive effort. Trent, the pass to see Occam. Boy, the evolution of Pascal Siakam has been such a pleasure to watch. The work ethic is commendable, and he's learning how to be a leader, guys. At the line for the Raptors, Pascal Siakam at the line for Junior. Tied up with that one. And the 
And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting only 30% in the third quarter. Russell finds Towns. To the middle. Here's McDaniels. And he lays it up and in. And the Timberwolves lead by one. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Toronto shooting 27% in today's game. Not good. Trent, the pass to Van Vliet. Driving in. Soft touch off the glass. Van Vliet's got eight points here in the quarter. Well, you get exactly what you want right there. Clean look right at the cup. Nicely done. Towns against Siakam. Towns can't get it to go. So it's Toronto now. The kick out to Van Vliet. It's good. And give the assist to Siakam. And it's a four-point Toronto lead. Rise and fire in the catch and shoot. Fred Van Vliet ready and willing. Pass to Edwards. Van Vliet against Russell. Siakam pulls down the board. He's been just a little off the mark tonight. Really the story of the game so far. Barnes, it's good. I'll tell you, Pascal Siakam has shown he is more than capable of passing the rock. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Towns, a screen on Ananobi. Here's Edwards. Oh, the offensive struggles continue. Missing again. Well, this guy cannot get started, and the offense overall has been a struggle because of it. He hasn't helped the cause with his shooting, but his teammates have had his back. Outside Russell. Pass to McDaniels. Here's Towns. Siakam pulls down the board. Siakam's got rebound number eight now. Van Vliet, and he banks in the layup. Van Vliet's got 13 points here in the second half alone. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. And Minnesota calls time here. Man, one guy's been getting it done, Fred Van Vliet. Boy, he's really had their number. They need to make some kind of adjustment during this timeout. Your Timberwolves for Towns. Okogie comes in for Vanderbilt. And Beasley has subbed in for Anthony Edwards. So Toronto going with almost an entire new group here. Achua's checked in for Siakam. Boucher comes in for Barnes. Mikhailuk's checked in for Ananobi. And it's Flynn in for Trent. Reed sets the screen. Russell, the pass to Reed. Beasley outside to halt the run. Rebounded by Flynn. 
Toronto's gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Well, it happened very quickly, but Malik Beasley has shown he can be a deadly scorer in the NBA. The man is a walking bucket. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. The Timberwolves trail. Here's Okogi. Pass to McDaniels. Six on the shot clock. Reed sets a screen. Here's Russell. Another miss by Minnesota. You know, with Beasley, he can attack in several ways on offense, Doris. That's exactly right. He's too quick for so many perimeter defenders. And if you go small on him, he can bully you in the post. He's a tough matchup, and he knows it. What a brutal night for this guy. And it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. Pass to Makai Luke. Oh, rejected by McDaniels. Here's Flynn. Minnesota with a rebound. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Here's Serrano with the ball. They're on a 20-6 run. To the left wing. Here's Mikhailuk. It doesn't go for him. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Boy, he can't buy a bucket. Shut out completely so far, and yet they're still ahead. Beasley finds Russell. To the inside. Here's McDaniels. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Size explosion. He's a dangerous finisher, and we saw it right there. Here's Van Vliet. Sinks that one from the post. Van Vliet's got 19 points. All of a sudden, he's balling. Halftime adjustment successful so far. Reed sets the screen. Russell, the pass to Reed. Back to Russell. Two minutes remaining in the third. Pass to McDaniels. Here's Reed. Achua with a rebound. Achua's got four rebounds in the game. Raptors foul. Precious. Prince has checked in for the Timberwolves. The Raptors also with a sub. Young, he's checked in for Flynn. Minnesota's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Pass to Prince. Now here's Russell. Reed to screen on Van Vliet. Here's Russell. Lays it up and banks it in. Russell's got four points this quarter. I'll tell you, it's hard to shake his concentration when D'Angelo Russell is this close to the cup. How about that tough shot? Beasley against Van Vliet. Here he goes. The shot no good. Some solid D from Beasley. Well, the Timberwolves shooting poorly. Just 30% so far. The shot by Russell. No good. The Raptors with a lead. Outside Young. Boucher a screen on Russell. Here's Young. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. To the middle. Here's Beasley. Oh, good D by Boucher. Toronto has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. To the paint. Pass to Van Vliet. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Reed's got four rebounds in the game. Russell against Young. Now Russell. Beasley outside. Reed to screen on Van Vliet. From the high post. That shot off the mark. Fred Van Vliet has been on display for the Toronto Raptors. What an insane quarter. No one could stop him. And more NBA action on 2K Sports. Coming your way right after this.
around a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. So for Toronto right now, Barnes is down low with Siakam, Van Vliet and Trent Jr. at the guard spots, and it's Ananobi in at the three. Now just for this trip to the line, I'll call him by his full name. Frederick Edmund Van Vliet Sr. Had to get that in there. Now we can just go back to Freddie B. one's off. He couldn't get to the line once in the first half. Coach must have really talked to him at the break. He hits the second from the line. Minnesota's shooting poorly. Just 29% from the floor in this game. Siakam against Towns. Back to Beverly. There's the drive. Toronto grabs the miss. And lead with it. Outside Barnes. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Vanderbilt's got rebound number eight now. Boy, this guy just can't buy a bucket, and yet they have the advantage. Back to Beverly. From downtown, that one's good. And it's Towns with the assist. Towns has got three assists now in this one. Beasley against Trent. Pass to Ananobi. Over Edwards. And again, Toronto, no good. The Timberwolves trail. Up top, Beverly. Here's Vanderbilt. He's guarded by Barnes. And here's Beverly. There's the three. Some solid defense from Van Vliet. Barnes passes to Trent. Back to Barnes. Trent on the wing. Guarded by Edwards. Siakam the screen. And lead against Towns. Oh, he powers right through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul, too. And he'll go to the line. It's on Patrick Beverly. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for Toronto. Their activity at the defensive end has been impressive. Attacking and coming away with steals. Well, their transition game has been operating at full speed, too. They've really run the break well. And the free throw, no good. Minnesota's gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Here's Beasley. The quick look, no good that time. The Raptors have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Here's Barnes. Here's Siakam. Hey, now five for eight, shooting a pretty good percentage right now. Yeah, showing a little versatility with their offensive attack. In the first half, it was about the three ball. In the second half, they've emphasized interior scoring. Now here's Beverly. Back to Vanderbilt. Beverly outside. Over Van Vliet. No good. A bit long that time. The Raptors have gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Down low. Siakam gets double. Trent outside. Siakam with a screen on B. Trent's shot is off. Minnesota with the ball. Eight-point game. Pass to Towns. Siakam pulls down the board. 
Siakam's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. The best way to get a clean look is with those quick hitters on the break. What a beautiful fast break opportunity and the finish pretty good. in with Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Chris Finch was going over with his team. He let his guys know that he needs more from them to close this deficit. He said, quote, we have to get something started. I know we're behind, but you are capable of taking this game if you still want it. All right, Allie, thanks once again. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Beverly outside. Back to Towns. Over Siakam. Another miss by Minnesota. For Toronto, they've gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. And the basket by Van Vliet. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Here's Vanderbilt following the bucket by the Raptors. Out to the right wing. Towns for three. He's off on that one. So the Raptors will take it the other way. Just not his night offensively. That's part of why they fell behind. Here's Van Vliet. The shot won't fall. Some solid D from Beasley. Trent against Beverly. Pass to Edwards. Back to Beverly. Just five to shoot. Looking to end the drought. Rebound by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got eight rebounds in the game. Inside. Here's Barnes. Good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. Van Vliet's got three assists in the game. Beasley. Pass to Beverly. Over to the left wing. Out to the wing. Outside Edwards. For three. Siakam pulls down the board. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. It's just been one of those games where they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. Now here's Barnes. He shoots again. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Vanderbilt's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Edwards, a pass to Beverly. And there's a pick. It's a mark. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. And Toronto gets called for the foul. Patrick Beverly is the kind of competitor every team wants. Gets himself a trip to the free throw line. 
And when you cut through everything else, Doris, at the end of the day, Beverly is a solid defender. And I, I'd Shoot say two. even more than that. He is tenacious. He puts tremendous pressure on ball handlers. He is competitively tough. He will talk a little trash. No space, no rest, no room for error if you're looking opposite Patrick Beverly. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. And Toronto has possession. Trent outside. Pass to Van Vliet. And here's Trent. Here's Barnes. Six to shoot. Siakam with it. Beverly defending. Great D that time from Beverly. Minnesota has gone one for five from downtown here in the fourth. Beasley against Trent. Towns a screen on Trent. Pass to Vanderbilt. Beverly against Van Vliet. Towns a screen on Van Vliet from outside the arc. And it's Toronto with a rebound. This has not been his best quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're Timberwolves simply five. trying to get him out of this funk. I don't mind that. That's I mean, they the met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. Shooting for Toronto, Scotty Barnes. Taking two shots. First one falls. Russell's checked in for Beasley. So hits one and misses one at the line. The Timberwolves shooting a low 26% from the field. Now here's Russell. Doesn't go that time. Ooh, excellent D there from Barnes. Trent outside. Pass to Van Vliet. Shoots over Beverly. And that one hits the back iron. And so it's Minnesota with it, trailing by 13. Russell into the lane. Towns against Siakam. Here's Towns. Tries to break his ice. And he takes it up and lays it in. Oh, big time athletic play by Cat right there. Brushes off the contact, gets to his finish. Nicely done. Out to the right wing. Here's Siakam. Rebound Minnesota. Towns has got rebound number 13 tonight with that one. Here's Beverly. Good on the shot, and that changed the lead to single digits. Hey, Beverly's got seven now in this quarter. And lead on the wing. Up and over Russell. And the Raptors miss again. The Timberwolves trail. To the middle. Back to Beverly. From eight feet. And the layup is good off the glass. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Now Van Vliet. Good work defensively by Towns. Minnesota's got just one of six threes to go in the fourth.
Gets hauled in by the Raptors. They've led by as many as 14. Barnes passes to Ananobi. Van Vliet with it. The shot off that time. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. It's Edwards on the wing. Ananobi covering. Let's a floater go. The shot by Russell, no good. I don't know if he's tired or what, but he is definitely holding back a little bit, and he has to step his game up right now. To the inside. And Barnes with a basket. The assist by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got his fourth assist in this one. Two Offensively, minutes. it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Sometimes you just have an off day, and this is one of those games for him. Trent from long range. And it's rebounded by Carl Anthony Towns. Trent's gone just one of five from the floor. Pass to Vanderbilt. Here's Edwards. And that one's good with extra effort on the glass. Uh, you see the kind of power that Anthony Edwards can play with. This guy, the board, the finish. Yes, sir. Barnes passes to Siakam. Back to Barnes. This one for three. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Siakam. Siakam's got six assists in the game. Trent against Russell. No good there with a step back J. They can take their time if they want. Yes, you have to regroup. Make sure you get a good shot. The drive by Siakam. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to be on Carl Anthony Towns. Now there is such length and fluidity. Pascal Siakam opportunistic on the drive. At the line for the Raptors, Pascal Siakam at the line for two. Good from Siakam. And so he makes both from the line. Minnesota's got just one of six threes to go in the fourth. If they had an advantage tonight, came out sharp and did what was needed, nice win here for the Raptors. They ran the fast break beautifully all night long. It was a huge part of their success. It's so true. They clearly ran the floor well, constantly putting pressure on the defense. Just a tremendous effort. And we get spoiled sometimes, but we should take a second to appreciate what a sensational performance this has been for Pascal Siakam. What a selfless effort tonight. He's done such a great job finding guys in their appropriate spots. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. No question. They've got hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Van Vliet. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. And just not enough time for them to get back in this game. I'll tell you, it's never an easy point in the game. Knowing whatever you do, you're still coming away with the L. There's real synergy in play right now on the offensive end. The pass was right where it needed to be. Van Vliet outside. So the Raptors win it. Boy, a nice win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone cold silent. And that's exactly what you gotta do. You have to try to take the crowd out of it. All right, now let's check in with Ali LaForce. Ali, what do you have? Fred, no surprise, a great defensive showing tonight. What is it that makes this team so suffocating at that end of the floor? Well, I think we're getting pretty good effort from each guy individually. I think we're finding our package defensively as a, as a team. Uh, 
as a coaching staff, and just kind of gelling and, and putting together individual game plans from the coaches and trying to execute it. No doubt. Thanks, Fred. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Brian Anderson signing off. We'll see you next time.